One of the properties I'm about to talk about, I find to be too risky for you folks, but the second one I think will fit perfectly in your investment strategy. Brent and Aaron, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise, coming to you right now live from my home studio office due to the coronavirus pandemic, blah, 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 blah. Now, Brent, Aaron, you folks, uh, we just finished another video with you folks recently, and um, we had two properties in that. We, we were aggressive. We made offers on both of those. Just a uh, quick update on where we're at, right? We went under contract on one of them. And the other one, we negotiated back and forth with the seller. And currently, we're at an impasse. We're at a standby, right? You know, our, our offer, our target price, we, we, we offered that. And the seller's not willing to take it right now. But, you know, with the coronavirus and all the things that are going on out there and, you know, investors, you know, we got investors in two camps, right? Folks are either in the camp you're in, which is, hey, there's a lot of people running scared. Let's get aggressive. Let's see what we can do. And then, of course, the other camp is those folks who are running scared and they're pulling their money out of the market right now. So uh, I think it's smart for us to just hold Pat on that particular property. If we lose that deal, cool. It's okay. No need to overpay for it. There's a lot of properties out there. And I'm seeing a lot of investors trying to remain liquid right now so we can really score some good deals. So I like where we're at. The one we put under contract, love it. Think that's going to be perfect. We're right at where our target price was. We're, you know, very close to it. And then the second one, we're just going to continue to hold pat. Now, you guys sent me a property, which is great. You know, I love that you're looking at particular properties. And let's talk about the property you guys sent to me. 12400 Auburndale Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44112. This is a single family home, four bed, two bath. I do believe the market rent on this should be approximately $1,000 a month. It's currently listed at $40,000 uh, by Century 21. Now this, you know, I think probably about $1,000 is what we'll get in rent, right? And this was actually built in 1999. So cruising through the photos, you know, it needs a little bit of cleanup, right? You know, it doesn't look too bad. Um, but when you see photos like this, you know, they show a little bit better than what they uh, actually are in person. So I, I would say we definitely need to do some cleaning up. I would say it probably needs like four to $5,000 of cosmetic refresh. Like I know nothing looks bad from the photos, but if you really look closely at these photos, like that carpet, that carpet's gross, dirty, probably needs to be replaced. Um, as far as the kitchen goes, you know, there's some dirt, there's some grime. So, you know, I would say around $5,000 is needed on this property. And I see, I see why you guys are interested in this property. You guys, you know, primarily one of your big goals is to, uh, you know, invest in the path of progress. You're looking towards neighborhoods that are a little, let's call it sketchy and, and they're close to something that could be really nice. And I think that's why you folks targeted this because you pull up the map here. All right. Right to the south of us, we've got University Circle and Little Italy. Now, I, I, I think that's probably why you guys are so interested in this particular property, along with the fact that it's very new. It's built in 1999. That's incredibly new housing stock for the Cleveland area. But, you know, at this map here, right, University Circle, that's where you get a bunch of college folk. We got some great uh, universities over there, Little Italy, incredibly popular, incredibly trendy neighborhood. We've got uh, every year, what do they do? The Feast of the Assumption or whatever the heck that thing's called, just like a big festival type thing with all kinds of great Italian food. I mean, these are super hot spots. So you're, you're making the, the right thought process. You're like, yo, cheap property near things that are happening, but I don't like this property for you guys. And if we zoom in a little closer, I'll explain why. If you look at the overhead view where our property is here, this is just, it's such a rough, sketchy ghetto neighborhood. Like this is one of the, the worst neighborhoods. I understand we're very, very close to some nice things, but like once you pop over in this area, man, this is like extreme blight. 
and I think the risk level is is too high, okay? I mean, look at the, all these vacant lots we've got surrounding the home. Like on the very street, right? Two houses over, we got a vacant lot, then you have two actual homes, then you got a vacant lot, then you got another home, and then you got like six right in a row across the street, all the varying streets. Like over in this little neighborhood here, like literally like half the streets, uh, all the homes have just been torn down, just like extremely blighted and just screwed up. Now, this house too, right? Built in 1999. That's not norm for the neighborhood, right? The neighborhood, this is an old neighborhood, like a lot of the stuff built in like the 1920s. So I believe 20 years ago, I, you know, I wasn't investing in real estate 20 years ago, um, but essentially what happened is 20 years ago, super distressed neighborhood, a lot of, you know, developers and folks got the idea, hey, let's raise a bunch of these really crummy, just dilapidated, horrible houses. We're picking them up for a song. You know, you can pick up houses in neighborhoods like this for like a dollar, right? Just total blight. You tear down a whole bunch of houses, you build some new housing stock and they're hoping for some stuff to, you know, pop off. But again, that was 1999. We're talking 2020. So 21 years from then. And, you know, now people are ready to unload the properties for much less than they cost to build, right? You can't build this particular house for 40K. So, you know, I, I don't think it worked uh, over the last 20 years. And I don't see, uh, you know, I don't think it's a good bet, right? I could be wrong, but I don't think it's a good bet uh, to drop $40,000 right now with the level of risk. Um, you know, the folks that currently own it, they want out. Uh, and I, I just, I just don't think it, it worked. And I don't think you guys having like a relatively limited budget, um, should invest, uh, you know, that small amount of money in, in, in random houses like this in, in these tough neighborhoods. Like you literally need to be like, have several million dollars and go in and do what these developers try to do. And like, you know, build little own little neighborhoods next to the hot stuff. Uh, but even then with them doing it, it, it didn't necessarily work out. And as far as like, performance wise, right? This is the part of the video where I would pop up all the cool charts and explain to you, you know, of that thousand bucks a month that I believe we can get, by the way, and I'm basing that thousand bucks a month off getting a section eight tenant. Cause if you do decide to move forward with this property, even though I don't think you should, you have to go section eight. I, I, there's no other way to feasibly uh, attempt to market this uh, other than the section eight for me to actually give you an indicator of what I think it'll rent for. Uh, just because it's so like inconsistent over here. Um, so even with that section eight tenant in there though, like I can't break down the numbers on this investment for you because it's just so off the wall. Uh, you know, like your vacancies, man, it could take forever to convince somebody to to move into this. The moment of property on a street like this goes vacant, people are coming in and just vandalizing it and destroying it. Like I see, I see folks like you know, if you have aluminum siding on the house, I've seen them steal the aluminum siding on homes like this. You know, in, in these semi-risky neighborhoods in Cleveland, you know, it's if there's copper in the house, you know, like the house is probably getting, the doors are getting kicked in. People are stealing the copper, we're replacing it with PEX. That's like par for the course. But you get into really sketchy neighborhoods in Cleveland. I mean, people will steal the hot water tanks, they will steal the furnaces, and they will literally steal the, gu the gutters, the downspouts, and they'll start ripping the siding off. So I don't have a breakdown of anticipated expenses for you because I, I, can't, I can't tell you how it's going to go. Um, it's just completely inconsistent over here, and I don't know what would happen. It's a crapshoot. This is an area we don't uh, typically manage in. It, it's, it's hard for our team uh, to get, uh, you know, like our landscaping crew or just, you know, construction guys, maintenance guys, turnovers. It's just tough over there, right? People are nervous about getting robbed. I mean, you get, you know, neighborhoods like this, there's shootings, uh, people's trucks are getting broken into. It's very, very tough. And as far as like the comps go, you know, I'm pulling up some comps for you. It, it's all over the place. Normally in a populated neighborhood, I like to go quarter mile comps over the last six months, but there just hasn't been a lot of sales. So I had to pull them for over a year. And what you have in this quarter mile, like it's, it's just totally random, right? We have two homes here at the bottom, one selling for 275, one selling for 292. Cause you're very, very close, right? You're very, very close to university circle. You're very, very close to little Italy. But once you get to the rough section, dude, it just like drops off like a freaking cliff. So yes, there are Two properties that are priced at 275 and 292 over here, which would lead you to think, hey, I'm in the path of progress. But in addition to that, we also got one that sold for 8,500, another one that sold for 20, one that sold for 35. 
And the one that sold for 35, that's a new one, right? That's similar to this one. That was also built in 1999. And that, of course, cost a hell of a lot more than 35000 to build. And then the two cheap ones, 20 and 8,500, you know, those were the original homes, 1900, 1909. So as far as like what the reasonable price is, what the value is on this, I don't freaking know, man. I, it, it's like impossible for me to, to peg like what would be a good deal for you folks in this particular neighborhood because everything is so off the charts, inconsistent. And I think, you know, just for an investor trying to, to just slowly build up a portfolio, I think you should probably stay away from this investment. And uh, I can't really give you any more, uh, you know, details other than what I've given you because there's so many unknowns here with this property. So for those reasons, guys, I, I, I would not do this deal. I would move on to other deals. And I've got a duplex for you. But first, we're going to want to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. And then I'm going to get into why I think that duplex will make a little bit more sense for what you're trying to do. Good day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. All right, Brent, Aaron, welcome back. Now, this particular property, I think this duplex is going to make a little bit more sense for you. Now, I've actually gotten pretty deep into the negotiations and into finding some understanding on this particular deal because I've actually analyzed this for another client. And after we started uh, going down the rabbit hole, we actually learned a lot more information. So it turned out not to work for that client and what they're trying to do with their portfolio. Uh, and I'm going to explain that and I'm going to explain the new information that we found and why I think it might work for you. But first, I want you to see the footage from that analysis so you get an idea where my head was at originally. 3396 West 117th Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. This is priced at $99,500. And uh, as you can see here, the listing agent, they... They did a, a bang up job. They put a lot of effort into this listing. We've got uh, more or less no information and we've got not even one photo, right? Uh, so pulling up the property on Google Earth here, you know, we just got uh, a normal duplex. This is right in a solid C-class neighborhood. You guys have a ton of properties right in this area. You know, this is just, you know, traditional Cleveland duplex, nothing to see here, nothing major. I've got hundreds of duplexes right up in here. So uh, just, you know, normal standard stuff as far as the rents they've already got. Uh, 700 bucks a month coming in on each unit. You know, same deal as normal. You guys have a ton of stuff just like this in your portfolio. We could probably, you know, eat that up to 750, uh, but you know, more or less 700, right? We wouldn't want to move these tenants out. We don't want to keep letting things roll. So it brings in 1400 a month right now, 16,800 a year. As far as price goes, though, I don't think you should pay no 99,500. And I don't think anybody else is going to either, uh, especially with the fact that, you know, it's, there's like no effort put into the marketing of this, right? Uh, we have little to no information uh, on the listing. The information we do have is well-maintained double with a full basement, two-car garage, newer roof, updated electrical, fully occupied, close to shopping, 
highway and bus stop, right? So nothing, um, no real effort put into this, right? So unless you kind of already know what you're doing and you know um, what you can anticipate getting, I don't think this is going to be attractive to the general public browsing listings. So because of that, and because that, that price is a little overpriced, right? I, th I think we could probably pick this up at 85000 unless it's like uber, uber nice. Like, yes, we've done some where they're seven fifty a unit and we sell them for hundred k. we have done that in these neighborhoods, yes, but they got to be bang and they got to be super duper nice. And, you know, this does not appear to be like super renovated to me. It just looks like your standard run-of-the-mill duplex. And that's totally fine. These things are cash cows, but, uh, you know, the price – you know, should reflect that. So I think 85K is what we want to target this thing for you guys. And, you know, going over the finances again, uh, you know, you guys know the drill, right? You know, this is <laughs> identical to, you know, a large portion of your portfolio. So we anticipate bringing in 1400. We anticipate spending 732. We anticipate bringing home 668 on average every month, you know, eight G's a year. But of course, you guys are financing. So only going to have to put in 21 and a quarter. You know, we'll get a nice little $63,000 mortgage and, uh, you know, kick off almost 400 bucks a month to you guys with the tenants paying down your mortgage and bringing in 22.3% cash on cash. So even though it's not a triplex or a quad, this is just another solid, non-sexy, just, you know, standard run-of-the-mill Cleveland cash flow duplex, right? That's what y'all come here for. That's what you guys want to do. So I think this one will make a great addition to your portfolio. And I think we can uh, squeeze off that $15,000 discount off the list price just because, I mean, you know, if, if I'm a, just like a, a new investor, or just a random investor, and I'm, I'm looking through listings, like, what does this tell me, right? This doesn't tell me anything. I, I don't get to see what I'm looking at. I probably can't get in there for easy showing. So, you know, this agent probably knows what he's got, and uh, he just knows that um, you know, there are buyers who will buy it who already know what they're doing. He's probably looking for um, experienced investors like yourself to just bring them offers, which is probably what you and I are about to do, right? He didn't uh, put in the effort because maybe he doesn't need to because he's just got a standard cash cow. Nothing uh, special about this, just a solid cash cow. All right. Now, since that has come about, all the information we got there, the listing agent finally got some things together. You know, it might have been a situation where they were going back and forth with their client and, you know, maybe they were confused. Their client wasn't being forthcoming with the information because we got some new information, new updates on this particular property. They dropped that price down. They took $20,000 off that price and they've now added photos for us to look at and the property uh, is actually vacant right now at this time. So, those tenants, I don't know if maybe the listing agent, the owner were confused or maybe they just they wrote the listing up wrong. I don't exactly know what happened, but at that time, we were under the impression there were tenants. There's not tenants, okay? There are no tenants, and here are the photos. And the home, you know, it's, it's just a classic duplex. All that is the same. You know, these layouts, they're so similar. This is exactly the layout I would have anticipated. And what we need to do is we just need to put about, I don't know, maybe like $20,000 of cosmetic renovations in here. You know, get these uh, units looking good, man. You know, refinish those hardwoods, repaint those walls, uh, get that trim looking nice, you know, update the kitchens and the baths. And then we're actually able to pull in two tenants paying seven fifty dollars a month. And, you know, as I discussed many, many times uh, during that analysis, I love the neighborhood, great solid neighborhood. So you guys wanted to do a mixture of cash flow opportunities and... Um, you know, path of progress stuff. So I don't necessarily see any path of progress or movement uh, in the neighborhood that this property is. This is just like going to be a solid earner for you guys, just a cash cow, right? You got to have some of those cash cows in the portfolio to balance out some of the riskier stuff you guys are looking at. And, and I think this one will be great. So I'd say about $20,000 in cosmetic reno, super easy reno, just get those kitchens in the bath, decked out premium upgrades and get you guys 1500 bucks a month in rent. And as far as pricing goes with the new information now, uh, they're down to 79.5. I believe best case scenario target price, we should try to knock this one down for you folks for $65,000. If we can pick this up at 65, then have you guys put in that $20,000 of reno. At that point, the property's worth a hundred bucks, right? Or, I mean, a hundred thousand bucks, right? We got uh, 65K acquisition, 20K uh, in reno. We're all into this sucker for 85,000. Two tenants coming in, paying 1,500 bucks a month total. That's a hundred thousand dollar property right there. So we could burr it out if you need to. Uh, for those of you watching this that don't know what I mean when I say burr it out, that is buy 
renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You put $85,000 into the deal, you pull out in uh, all that money, right? After you refinance it, after you do those renovations, after you rent it out, you do a refinance, get it to a price for 100,000, the bank will loan you back 75K. So you only end up with $10,000 into this deal. So you could be all into this deal at $10,000 with 1,500 bucks a month coming in. So this one, that would be a solid deal at 65. If you can't pick it up at 65, if the seller's not interested in that, we, we should go up a little bit. I would say we are still killing it. We are still doing a hell of a deal. If you are all into this, or if you're at, you know buying this for between 65 and like 70, 71, 72, anything over that, probably not the best deal, but between 65 and 72 is where I think we should be on this one. And I definitely think you guys should move forward on this one. I think this is a hell of a deal. So we're going to email this video out to you guys. You guys are obviously watching it. Um, so we'll confer via email. We'll continue to go back and forth and see if this one makes sense for you guys. If you guys still want to uh, make a move on the Auburn uh, deal property, you definitely can. Um, you know, we can definitely work on your behalf as your agent. I'm here just giving you my advice, my information. I personally don't think it's a good move for you guys, but if you guys want to move forward, we will absolutely represent you and help negotiate the, that deal. But you know, other than what I've said, you know, I think I made it pretty clear my thoughts on the property, but it's your money, it's your, it's your investment portfolio, so we can still assist. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, you know, proceed with caution if you want to do that one, but I really think it'd be much smarter to do this nice duplex here on West 117th. Everybody else out there, if you liked what you just saw here, you're interested in working with me and my team exactly like Brent and Aaron have. Uh, Brent and Aaron, they're doing 10 of these properties, right? Because, uh, you know, that's what we do, right? Real estate investing, guys. You're not trying to buy one little rental property. That doesn't mean anything uh, in your grand scheme of your financial uh, well-being, right? This is uh, a long-term game. You got to build up a portfolio. This is a game of scale. So what they've done is they've contracted to do 10 properties with us. I handle all the due diligence. I provide them insight. And I'm just totally transparent on the show, guys. Uh, you deal with a lot of real estate agents. Number one, most of them, they're not used to working with investors. They don't understand the investor game. Number two, they get paid to sell you properties. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, I'm a real estate broker. We also get a commission, but this is a paid product. You pay for the due diligence here. You pay for us to look into this. And what you get is you get unbiased advice, right? If Brent and Aaron were to buy Auburndale, I would have a nice little check coming. Not a big check, nothing that uh, I'm going to scream at, you know, small check, but I would have a check coming to me. But, you know, you don't want my only motivation to be to get that check because otherwise I could have been like, yo, 1999 builds near University Circle. This is great. Let's do the deal. No questions asked, right? But that's not deep enough. That doesn't give you, you know, the real understanding and that doesn't like, you know, put – put your eyes open to the risks that are out there, right? You know, that's what a lot of people might look on the surface, but that's why you want this unbiased advice from me because I will back you out of deals that I think will cost you to lose money. And I, and I don't think that Brent and Aaron would make money on that. So that's why uh, this package is so popular. That's why Holton Wise has become the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland market. And if you want that unbiased advice, you want somebody working in your corner I don't work for the sellers of any of the properties on the MLS search and analysis show. If you ever want to buy properties that I am selling, you just check out the, or I don't work for the sellers on any of the properties in the MLS search and analysis show, I should say. If you want to buy properties I'm selling, you want me to market properties too, you can check out the investment properties for sales show. Subscribe to our mailing list. We email it to you every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But if you want to just specifically hire me and my team, to just work on your behalf, to just be in your corner, to make sure you don't make any moves that are too risky. We are here to just mitigate your risk. And we are looking at these properties with only your interests in mind. We don't work for the sellers of 3396 West 117th. We don't work for the sellers of 12400 Auburndale. Their interests are completely irrelevant to me. The only thing I am concerned about is making my paid clients, Brent and Aaron, some money. So if you like that, you want to be just like Brent and Aaron and do that. I recommend the 10 property package right now. That is the best because it allows us to go back and forth and really build you a nice business. Holtonweiss.com property search for sale tab. Click the MLS search and analysis show and order a package today. 
what you're watching is approximately 60 to 90 days after Brent and Aaron saw it because I send these to you folks privately and I don't release them publicly on Holton Wise TV for everybody else to learn for free until the deals are no longer available. So it's not like you could pay me to do a video for you and then I post it on Holton Wise TV and 10,000 views and everybody else is trying to buy your property. No, you guys get it private. Only after the dust is settled does it get released. So again, click all that stuff. HoltonWise.com property search for sale tab MLS search analysis show. If you're interested in working with us, Brent and Aaron, we'll continue this via email. That's all I've got for today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including 
video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.